What's up, bros? Got your favorite bro, the Beast Hunter, here with another video. Today, we are reacting to my old ass videos. So, we're going to be looking back at videos that I have made in memory, in stone, and a older channel that I had before I lost the email and password and everything. So, we're just going to be going back and look at the funny times, the good times, and even the bad times. And I will explain little details behind them. I'm not going to be watching the videos fully because that would be long as fuck. So I'm just going to be looking at short little clips of it and explain behind it and why I made that video and what was my reasoning. Now, let's hop right into it. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, uh, oh God. This was two years ago. Oh my God. Oh uh, fuck. Can I pause this? Fuck. Can I fucking pause this? Like, fuck, sorry, my phone's glitching up and it's been having problems. All right. Uh, let me. All right. So originally. I made this video to help with my friend. Of course, I did explain to everyone because I wasn't just going to explain to my friend. But I made this video to help my buddy out find what he was looking for. Like, find what he needs. And his name was Apple G. I was helping him find like find out how to get the Mobile and the Batmobile. And the video just went viral and blew up with... And everyone knows this is my biggest video on my channel. This is the biggest video I have ever had. This is the biggest video I will only have, probably. I, I have, like, tons of other videos that blow up, but it's all because of you people. If it, like, this this whole video I'm making is for you. This is the reason why I made it. Like, let me look at my, um... Like, this is the re... I'm making this video... For you guys and only you guys. Right now we are at 101. Thank you so much for everyone that has been watching me over the past four years, three years, two years. However long you found out about my channel. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for keeping up the support. Because the reason why I'm making this special is because of you guys. I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys. It's all because of you. And remember that. Right now this video is sitting at 6,000. It's all because of you guys. You guys are watching the tutorial. You're helping. You're helping out. You're helping me me out i'm helping you out it's an equal beneficial um uh how about what, what? anyways i'm just gonna say thank you so much now i am gonna i mean this is literally a tutorial so there's not much for me to say about this video except thank you for watching this video thank you for checking it out if you want if you still play lego batman 3 and you want to check it out it's um lego batman 3 beyond gotham how to unlock the bane mobile 1966 Batmobile. There, there you go. If you want to go check out that video, there you go. You can check it out for yourself on my channel. So uh, I'm gonna move on to the next and best thing. But let's uh, let's move on aside. All right, now I have found this clip that I remember. I single-handedly kicked my friend's ass embarrassingly. Now I wouldn't consider friend anymore because. This is a part of the Orange Saga. If you have not seen the series, it is a series that I have made alongside with a friend. He still needs to upload a lot more videos because he still has not uploaded enough shit. And me and him plan on making a video about this, like, to end this series. Because technically, me and him are going to do a collab and give our standpoints on this. So, yeah. But for now... I plan on showing this clip because it was hilarious how I single-handedly whooped his ass. And by whooped his ass, I mean I opened up a can of whoop ass and delivered it. Because I never lost to him in, in um, fucking hell, these people will not stop texting. But I never lost to him in Injustice or any fighting game. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to single-handedly whoop his ass. It, because he is a cocky son of a bitch. But I'm just going to play the video. Let's get right into it. Woo. And this was only about a year ago, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a year ago. All right, it's silent for now. Dead ass silent. Now, I did make this video with Orange. And Orange was doing a live stream at the time. And even my boy Cool Dog said that it was hilarious how I whooped his ass. So, shit, froze. Oh, there it goes. Here we go. Let's watch this. Now, I'm not going to lie, in this matchup, I get my ass whooped at the beginning because when I verse him, I usually verse him as Scorpion so I can outbest him. 
But I'm just as good with Batman as I am with Scorpion. But I am a god when it comes to Scorpion in this game. He's not playing at the mo time. He's going to trick me by acting like he's not playing. And then he's going to start... I bet you Pug was the only person and Cool Dog was the only people that were watching his stream at the time. That's probably how sad his channel was. Now, it may... Because you will see how embarrassing I embarrassed him. If you, Pug is the other person in the video, but you cannot hear him because he does not have it where Mike is allowed to hear him. Oh. Uh, he got my ass. I don't like that one bit. He was being cocky there. There you go. And boom, through the building you go, brother. Catch a ride, you son of a bitch. <laughs> nah, there goes your ride. <laughs> oh, man. Now, it may look like he starts kicking my ass, but I single-handedly become a god at once, he, once I'm down to my final, my final breath. So let's just keep on watching this video. This was a good-ass fight. We're going to watch the fight all the way through, and now I'm going to go to my next video. But for now... We're just going to look at this because this is hilarious. I, I love this. This is my favorite part. Oh my gosh. I, I still remember this. This was my favorite video I have ever done because I single-handedly looked like a badass. And I don't mean to be a cocky, but watch how I beat his fucking ass in. It's embarrassing to even look back at this for him. Watch this. I am a one hit right now. I block all his hits. He tries to attempt the same shit. Fucking watch this shit. Oh my god. I am not playing no games. He all he needs is one more hit. Fucking whooped his ass. I was one hit. Oh my god. Now <laughs> let me tell you, I was surprised myself I was a one hit. Now let me pause. So I don't I didn't want to be cocky, so I just I just played it off like we're cool and everything because he gets pissed off about shit. Like, I remember one time we were playing Mortal Kombat, right? And he... Let me tell you, this was embarrassing because I didn't even know what to fucking do. So, we were playing Mortal Kombat and he was like, let me do a... Like, we were playing Mortal Kombat 11 because I just bought it, like, when it was on sale for 45 bucks. And you guys remember, I was... I was pretty good at Mortal Kombat 11. I would do videos on it. I don't do videos on it anymore because it got boring. It like it, it got boring for me because the online servers got annoying. People play as cheese. It just gets really annoying after that. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm done with Mortal Kombat. But let me give you a story. When I first bought it, I was playing with him and I kicked his ass a lot as Scorpion. I did a few fatalities and I didn't have a lot to unlock because. And then he really wanted to play, he really wanted to do a fatality as Johnny Cage. And every time I would whip his ass, because I'm better than him at fighting games, he fucking cried. Like, he was fucking crying, man. He wanted me to, and the thing is, I will let you do a fatality if you can beat me. I'm not just going to give you a free win. You have to earn that shit from me. You can't just get a free, free win. And that may sound like a dick, but... I play by the rules. Free win. No cheap, easy win for you, brother. And he fucking cried, and then he raged, and he got off. And I, I, didn't, I didn't laugh at him or anything. I just didn't know what the fuck to do. And so I have my nose sounds off. I have, like, a, a stuffy nose or something. So, yeah. But how about we go to the next clip? And by the way, wait, wait, before we do that, let me just say this video is in the Orange Saga. So if you want to watch the whole Orange Saga series... I suggest you go do that because that video, like that, my friend added one of his videos to it. Um, you could go check out uh, B uh, Big Tubby. Um, me and him 
me and him used to do a lot of collabs with each other. We're, we're going to do more together because me and him, like, when me and him do videos together, we're hilarious. He plans on getting Watch Dogs Legion, and when he does, we're going to do Watch Dogs Medical Drugs 3 because I plan on doing, the thing is, with my Watch Dogs series, I plan on doing medical drugs for each game, not just all in one game. I want to do it for each game. So Medical Drugs 3, whenever he gets Watch Dogs Legion, we will do that because I think it would be hilarious as fuck. They do medical, medical drugs three, and right now the online is not out, so I can't really do much. But anyways, I'm not gonna be talking about Watch Dogs. How about we get to the next clip? Let, let let's just get to the next clip. All right, so this will be probably the last clip of the day. It's uh, it's another video from the orange song. Actually, 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 I got something. Better. Let me let me switch. Alright, so the last video of the day will be how I lost a good friend. And I'm going to explain the background of this, but we are going to rewind this video and just play along with it. Oh, my good ass theme. My dreams. I won't regret when the sun set. Because I live a life like I'm a beast. What's up, bros? Gaucho Hose here from our beast, and today we are here with another video. Today, it's a story time, and I'm going to be talking about some sad news. So, cur well, currently, and I think forever, me and Cool Dog are actually officially done being friends. The same with Orange. Pretty much, I think we're all just done with each other. Alright, let me just go into background check. This video is a story time, so I will probably not watch the full video of it, but I do remember the and everything so me and cool dog even talked over about this video and everything and pretty much he wanted me to remove it i made this video because i wanted to let people know why me and cool dog stopped recording together and everything me and him still are friends we, we we're friends we're not going to be friends ever again with orange orange we have tried we have gave him many chances like many chances i don't think we can ever like give him another chance because the thing is he uses sympathy to attract people in with his bullshit and then he just he's a total dick to them and he think and he's always self-righteous of himself and he thinks he thinks he's such a good person that he doesn't do anything wrong and we just couldn't surround ourselves with someone that thinks he does everything right and it pisses you off because those type of people are fucking shit like, you don't want to surround yourselves with those type of people. Like, and him and his boyfriend, Pumpkin Air, they're not actually gay, but we make jokes about it. Like, we may sound like bullies and shit, but to be real with you, we were annoyed because he fucking kept on pissing us off. Of course, we don't w wish the worst thing to happen to him or anything like death or any shit like that. We just wish he would stop with his bullshit. Of course, he never did because we're not friends with him anymore. And at the time... I'm just gonna play the video because we're reacting to a video. I'm not gonna tell a story time, but I'll explain deeper into it if I miss some pieces. And I'm sorry for my language excuse me, but I um I had to say that because it, it's been a tough time with friendships and you know. But I'm gonna be honest. Um some of my internet buddies I don't see as friends to the end because honestly I, I realize they're not gonna be there for me at all times. The only person I actually see that's going to be there for me at all times as an internet buddy is uh, my buddy JK and my school friend, so. That is true. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you. That is true. Now, cool dog, me and him have our on and off arguments. So sometimes we like, we get mad at each other. We take a break from talking to each other. And then sometimes I will be the reasonable one because I have start some of the shit. I will admit it. When me and him stopped talking, it was mostly because of some shit I said and I realized that, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to be reasonable and just say I'm sorry and admit that I'm wrong. Because I'm a very reasonable person now. Like, I, when I was younger, I was kind of more stupid. But now that I have grown up em uh, enough to know that I have to be reasonable and smarter, that's what I did. Now, and me and Cool Dog have done that many times, and we realized, yeah, we could reason with each other. Now, when we tried to do that with Orange... The response we get is, I don't want this toxicity in my party. And because the shit he did was a misunderstanding. If you do not know that video, go watch a dumb kid with a dumb reasoning or dumb reason in my orange saga. Watch that video because I'm not going to explain the whole story. But 
I'm just going to say shit got out of hand. That's all I'm going to say. Now, and we were trying to reason with him, talk to him, and have him understand what he's doing is bullshit, and we didn't mean for it to come out of hand. Of course, he didn't give a fuck because he thinks he's a self-righteous person and he does no wrong. And no one's perfect. Everyone has done something wrong. I have done something wrong. Cool Dog has done something wrong. He, Orange did something wrong. Everyone has done something wrong in their life. No one's perfect. No one's the perfect human. No one's the perfect person with no mistakes. Everyone has made a mistake once in their life. And that is understandable. It's, it's called being human. It's called a growing process. And we learn from those. And we realize that we have made mistakes. And we have to fix those. And that's why I did. I made a few mistakes with Cool Dog. I fixed them. Me and Cool Dog are clean. We are buddies again. We still talk. We still hang out sometimes. Like, we don't hang out, like, all the time like we used to. Because we realize that's kind of breaking away our friendship. But we hang out sometimes. We're still cool with each other. But Orange. Orange and Pumpkinator. Those guys, I, I don't think we can ever reason with them. Like, they, we try reasoning with them. We can never do that. And the reason why me and Cool Dog stopped being friends is because Cool Dog felt sorry for Orange. And it's understandable because at first, you feel sorry for him. If you do, you do not have no clue how bad the kid is when you're actually in a... He may look nice when you talk to him and shit, but you have no fucking clue what issues we have had with him. And pretty much... I'm just going to say the reason why my friendship with Cool Dog ended up how it was because Cool Dog felt sorry for the kid. He was going to release a video making me look bad and shit and it was very immature of him. And pretty much I decided that I decided to make a video talk about the situation and shit and how bad it was going to be and like how me and Cool Dog might, might not do videos ever again. That was a cap because we kind of still will. I mean, we haven't did a video together in a while, but we will. And like, uh, if and he did big big tubby is cool dog. If you did not know, but if you want, go check out his channel because he is awesome. I suggest you go check out his channel. Me and him have been buddies to the end for three years, probably even four years now. Now that I'm looking back on it, four years, three years, probably three years now. It's been three years. We've been friends for three years. That man is awesome. I, like, me and him made a bunch of funny videos together. We, like, go, go check him out. He even uploaded a video to the Orange Saga, so I suggest you go check that shit out. And, um, yeah, but this will be the last clip, and I'm just gonna tell you that, yes, I do stick to those words that some of my, now, when I said this at the time, JK, I haven't kept in touch with him, but he's still a buddy of mine that I still think of, and then I have my school friends, and then Cool Dog, of course, I, I can still talk to him sometimes. Now, that, that's pretty much all I had to say. Now, Orange, we can never reason with him because he's not a reasonable person to talk to. Like, if you just try to talk to him, he will be like, oh, no, I don't want this toxicity in my party, and then he kicked me from the party, go watch the video, I'm not going to explain it, but he is not a reasonable person you can talk down to, you can't talk down to him, you can't even make him understand the situation, he just like, he's all about himself, and that's what pisses us off, because he doesn't understand that when we're trying to fix the problem, he's making it worse, and if Orange, I know you still watch my video, so I'm going to give you a big middle finger to go fuck yourself, because we don't need your bullshit, anyways, um, I'm going to continue with the clip a little minutes on, but I think I don't need to like watch the full video because I just explained the story and I actually know I'm, I, I don't think we need to rewatch it, but pretty much it's just me free roaming around Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry while talking about this subject. Anyways, subscribe to your channel, like, comment below, leave post notifications on, and I will catch you guys next time.